Hi, I'm Rich Luer with the Airstream Life Store, and today I'm going to show you how to install the gas stop. This is an important safety device that cuts off the propane gas if there's ever a major leak in the system. For example, if you had an accident and gas was flowing, this will cut it off completely. Now, to install it on an Airstream is a little bit different because the propane covers are very tight, and so you need this hose. It's a special hose with a 90-degree bend in it. That allows you to fit the whole thing inside the propane cover. And, of course, the hose comes with our Airstream Life kit. So let me show you how it goes together. The first step, of course, is to take off the propane tank cover. Our next step is to turn off the gas at both tanks. All right, this one's already off. Now we're going to remove the propane hose that's on and replace it with the new propane hose from the gas stop kit. First, disconnect the side from the propane tank. It's pretty easy. And then you'll need to remove the part from the regulator. This takes a 9 16 wrench. And you're gonna put it right on the brass fitting and you'll need to break the seal. It'll be a little tough, so you may have to hold on to the regulator to get a good grip on it, but it will come off. Now, one thing you'll notice is the original hose has a larger fitting than the replacement hose, but that's okay. We've supplied a brass adapter with the kit that will make it the correct size. This adapter needs Teflon tape on its threads, which is also included in the kit. You wrap the Teflon tape around the threads very tightly, and that creates a positive seal. You don't need to put Teflon tape on these threads, because these, this is a different type of thread that creates its own seal. Okay, we're ready to put the brass fitting in. Now I've wrapped the Teflon tape around the threads nice and tight, and all we have to do is screw it into the regulator. The brass fitting requires a larger wrench. You'll need a 5 8 inch wrench for this, or a good adjustable wrench will do just fine. Once you've got the fitting in finger tight, use the 5 8 inch wrench to finish tightening it until it's reasonably firm. It doesn't have to bottom out. It doesn't have to be fully in place. It just needs to be tight. Okay, now it's time to attach the replacement hose, the one with the 90 degree bend. You'll just Thread it very carefully into the brass fitting that you just installed. Make sure it doesn't cross thread. Go nice and straight and take your time. It feels like it's binding, back it off a little bit and try again. Get it finger tight, then take a 7 16 wrench or an adjustable wrench and tighten it the last little bit, maybe an eighth to a quarter of a turn. You'll feel it stop and you're done. We'll check it for leaks later. Now we can move on to attaching the other end of the hose to the gas stop. And this is the easy part. It just screws right on with the big green fitting. Really pretty simple. And then take the gas stop and attach it to the propane tank. Again, very easy. Okay, now everything's installed. You might have to rearrange the hose a little bit to make sure it fits inside the tank cover, but you can do that later once you see how everything goes together. Our next step is to check for leaks. Now you'll need a little bit of soapy water solution. If you have our propane maintenance kit, you already have one of these little spray bottles, which you can put a little bit of dish soap and some water in. If you don't have one of these, you can use a sponge dipped in soapy water. Uh, it doesn't really matter, a paper towel, anything that you like. The idea is to spray some soapy water on the fittings that you just tightened, open the gas, and check for leaks. But there's a catch. Because the gas stop needs to be primed before use, you're going to take an extra step after you open the propane tank and pump the top of the gas stop four or five times to make sure that gas is flowing. Otherwise, it's a very straightforward leak test. You're looking for bubbles around the fittings. If you see a bubble, close the gas and double check your work. If you don't see any bubbles, you're good to go. You're ready to start using the gas stop. 